A year ago tonight, we launched the show. We were at 7 p.m. Eastern. Then a few months later, we found ourselves at 9 p.m. And then in April at 8 p.m., you followed us up and down the clock, and we're grateful for that. The show has changed a lot in a year. We hope we stayed true to what we set out to do at the very beginning. We hope we remain true for the next year and beyond. Here's a flashback to our first night on the air a year ago. Welcome to the first edition of the eponymously named Tucker Carlson Tonight Show. I got a haircut for the show. We're glad you're here. It probably wasn't smart for all these national security experts. You know, a lot of them are really good people, but to sign these letters and Trump's dangerous to the world. I mean, well, not just I, some experts, but like the entire foreign right. policy establishment. So the question because becomes, they were always right because they made all the right decisions. Is there a group that was wrong more consistently than no, the people who wrong other than the press corps and Washington calling exactly this election? Right. Who's going to believe the New York Times, the Washington Post, which is even worse, or NBC News or CBS? I mean, isn't this just the beginning of their collapse and a new era of alternative media, which may not be good, by the way, but that's going to yeah, happen? I think it was a fearful response from the Times editors saying, right. oh my Fearful. gosh, exactly. we really missed something here. The Democrats don't talk about middle class economic issues anymore. They talk about global warming or esoteric social issues like who should use what bathroom. These are not issues that the average person making 40 grand a year cares at all about, because why would he? Donald Trump, as you know, tapped into the working man and woman. He spent that time yeah. in, in Wisconsin and spent that time in Michigan and really understood what was the underbelly of what this was all about, right. no, jobs and the economy. People in power tend to lie, not because they want to, but because they can't help themselves. That's human nature. The more power people have, the bigger the temptation to misuse it. The press is supposed to be the watchdog against all of this, and it worked fine for a couple of centuries. But then the press decided they had more in common with certain politicians than with readers or viewers, and that's when it fell apart. We're going to get back to basics here. We're going to hold the powerful accountable, pierce pomposity, translate doublespeak, mock smugness, and barbecue nonsense every night. Hope you'll watch. It's been a fun year, and more than anything, I want to thank the people who produce it, the show staff, to the crew behind the scenes, really the best ever. And more than anything, of course, thank you for tuning in. Every night, we promise to continue to be the show that is the sworn enemy of lying, pomposity, smugness, and especially groupthink. Have a great night.